I'm sure you've seen the previous video about that uh, three-year escape review, but uh, since been re but it's uh, now been replaced. You probably and you probably even any might be <laughs> and just see like the uh, replacement vehicle. So well, we'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, a newer one, a newer one here. But this one here is a 2019 Ford Escape SEL. Yeah, it looks almost the same as the older one, but one of the most notable differences is you see this rack here on the roof. This on the roof, and uh, this uh, goddamn wonderful stripe here. I'm not sure if you looked on the inside, you probably already noticed. The seating is much different. All leather. There's some notable differences. Yeah, it is the SEL, which is the next one up from the SC. You probably notice the tail lights look a little bit different. I don't know. If you ever saw that uh, 2017 Escape Titanium, uh, that was a loaner vehicle. This has some features that that uh, same one I actually had. Why well, it might have been the seating and the keyless ignition show, which I, which I don't give a fuck about, which I don't, which I think is stupid. Still saying you have multiple. Huh. This one doesn't. This one has a uh, USB outlet there. That one right there. This one's not even broken in yet, but this one does not have the uh, all other formats that the other one had. But still has many features too, like the uh, dual zone climate system. But the interesting part is. Yeah, it looks similar to that uh, stereo system I was in at the Escape Titanium, but this one's a little bit lower end version. It has features like tuning features, source, audio, and all that. AM, FM. But it doesn't play any CDs or cassettes or anything. Because nobody's buying that shit anymore. And to make up for the lack of a CD player, this would probably work. Sufficient capacity. I could put all those uh, CDs or whatever in a, high, a decent quality MP3. That'd be much higher quality than what I choose for MP3s. <laughs> so that's all the comp or assortment of everything. If I was doing it says hmm, a year ago. So it's left our 2019 model that probably and the salesman so it was a step up anyway. But another difference was yeah, seeing all letter which is probably good. Oh yeah. Integrate armrest and folders to put your cups and shit. But one thing this doesn't have is that that the only one have was the uh, 120 volt outlet set up. Just a 12 volt set up there. It has the same 12 volt outlet back there. Oh yeah, holders in the door so you can put your shit there. This could use some goddamn 
Like this could use some more wider floor mats at least. And what the escape tight team has, it just has. Oh yeah. Road control left gate. Oh yeah, spare tire, capless fuel system, everything for uh, everything underneath there for uh, changing the tire. How's vehicle was uh, left in transport mode all that time? Who the fuck knows? Oh yeah, the lift gate closing is a good. It has a remote start feature, which is good. Now you have a different headlight design there. Which probably might be useful for the daytime. More efficient running in the daytime. But they probably have daytime running lights anyway, so... The tires are still the same 17 inch wheels, old disc, everything. It's still the same 1.5 liter EcoBoost. Was what it's supposed to be. Let's see, the fashion sticker says it. Ford Pass Connect. Wi-Fi huts, modem, the my key shit, sink three point screen. Yeah, he had seats and everything. Fog lamps. Oh yeah, air feature. Here. Regional value package. Yeah, I do need some goddamn floor mats anyway. Some good ones. This one here is a uh, another another one that's been leased. People try to consider one of the options I was considered was a used vehicle, but the salesman said we taught simply explained one of the reasons why it's not a good idea. Probably the type of vehicle that could be got in the price range. At the payment as of before, but I could, you know, I could discuss that in the future. I could discuss that on what, Facebook, whatever, or in a future video. But this one here is just cost, may just cost a little bit more, and probably have to pay for oil changes and shit. But you know, it still pretty much looks the same, with a few noticeable differences and. I let her sing, which is probably good. When does the see on the lot? When does the see at the dealership? It had, no inspe it had no inspection stickers on it, but it, but it uh, got the inspection stickers before it was picked up. Yeah, the car's still the same. And something else too. If this does not get involved in any, if this does not get involved in any accidents when the lease is up, it would probably just likely may just get purchased outright.
How's those fucking lights stay on? God damn it. And if those, and if those, and if those are not LED, that's probably good because I once heard stories about people with fucking LED, let's say vehicles with those LED tail lights getting fucking rear-ended and shit. I don't know. And I don't like the goddamn Kios ignition concept, probably because I don't like that because and the Kios ignition concept I do not fucking like because if you leave your fucking key fob in the vehicle and what do you, what do you think every car, what do you think any potential car thing is going to do breaking a vehicle that has Kios ignition? Push the brake pedal and if it just and if it starts off when you push it. They're probably taking right the fuck off with it. How this compares compared to this eyesore. Ugh. Goddamn eyesore here. Oh goddamn rust on this motherfucker. I tell you, it fucking flaps. It would fucking flaps. I tell you, it fucking flaps. I oh, yeah, fucked up on sarcasm. Yeah, that's like, yeah, the, the new vehicle right there. Oh, well. 